Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rucha HaKodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who all learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So, Brother Tazawam, uh, just coming back uh, real quick with the uh, you know, quick hit lesson. Um, as you see here on the screen, it says, what is the fourth industrial revolution with Professor uh, Klaus Schwab? And um, as of late, all right, this video is about five years old. OK, it came out in 2016. However, um, you know, this guy, uh, Klaus Schwab, which is the founder and the um, chairman of the World Economic Forum, which has now, you know, been very active, you know, since this whole, uh, you know, pa uh, pandemic has, uh, you know, been, been taken off. Okay, he was the one that basically said, you know, uh, used that uh, coined the term the Great Reset, um, you know, so on and so forth. But you know, the Great the uh, the Fourth Industrial Revolution is uh, really Esau Edom attempting to uh, create man in his image. Okay, using his uh, technology. All right, and and you know, ultimately that uh, Karagma. Okay, which they uh, basically are trying to. You know, be like the Most High, as the scripture says in the book of uh, Isaiah, the 47th chapter. He says, in his heart, I am and none else beside me. All right. Now, Yahweh is the one who has said that when you read the book of 30, um, Genesis, not Genesis, Deuteronomy, 32nd chapter. He said, uh, scripture says that I am and none else uh, beside me. All right, I kill and I make alive. I wound, I heal. I, the Lord, do all these things. Right. But Esau, Edom. Okay, because his wisdom, all right, and his knowledge, which has perverted him, actually, let me get it, the book of um, Isaiah chapter 47, verse uh, 10, it says, for thou hast trusted in thy wicked, actually, let me start at eight, uh, nine, it says, but these two things shall come uh, come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children in widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments okay and that's what esau has used in order to you know deceive the the, the world okay in the book of revelation in 20th chapter it tells you that satan which you know goes into uh at uh, the uh, the adverse one or the the adversary which esau edom is coming after the working of satan right he he was loosened from his prison a little season to deceive the nations and esau used you know his his pseudoscience all right, uh, um, his uh, riches, okay, his treasures, all right, him basically getting the fatness of the earth and, you know, and the, the dew of heaven above, okay, uh, um, to deceive the nations into thinking that he is a power, that he is, that he is God. <clears throat> and now with his technology moving, you know, uh, um, using this whole time, you know, that we're in right now, he's moving toward trying to uh, have a great reset with basically resetting the world into his and in, in the people in it into his image now when you go to verse 10 it says for thou and, and it says the sorceries and his enchantments which is you know his media okay his lies his his deception all right his fear you know uh fear mongering you know scaring the people fear, uh putting the people in fear into being subjected unto his will right all the things that really only belongs to the Heavenly Father, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Esau, Edom is trying to um, achieve those things. Okay? So, verse 10, it says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and knowledge, it has perverted thee. Okay? Let's go into this word perverted. It says, To turn back um, of human relations, spiritual relations. What else we got? see to break to build <laughs> to circumcise yeah because Esau is basically trying to get you to you know to do a um have a covenant with him all right which the scripture tells you is a covenant with death but all in all it says that wisdom and knowledge it has perverted thee thou hast said in thine heart i am and none else beside me which is once again that's that is exclusively reserved unto yahweh all right, but because of his, because of the wisdom and knowledge that Esau has gained, all right, and 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 used it in wickedness, 
he has now been up, uh, you know, puffed up and lifted up to a point where he thinks that he is or he can be like the Most High. All right, uh, Isaiah the forty, the fourteenth chapter tells you that as well. Isaiah 40, 14 verse. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Isaiah fourteen. Yeah, here we go. Isaiah 14, verse 13, it says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne upon above the stars of God, which are who? The Israelites. All right. So Esau is, has, has exalted himself above the, 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 the sons of God. Okay. The same thing that Pharaoh did. It says, I will, I will sit upon, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north okay and he's done that where here in in uh north america all right sitting upon who the israelites meaning ruling over them it says i will ascend above the heights of the clouds i will be like the most high okay and that's esau's mindset now when you go into this uh video you're going to listen to what this guy says about the fourth industrial revolution all right and, and he clearly lays it out remember this was uh back in 2016 he clearly lays out the plans of what he sees as you know uh society moving forward now five years uh removed you can clearly see them moving forward quickly with this plan even though that they had this plan you know um <laughs> from the beginning all right go back all the way to antiochus right but now they're seeing this this particular time as the time to move forward because they know they have but a short time and why is that because of all the prophecies that are that are taking place the the the, the chariots you know showing themselves the israelites remembering themselves in the land of their captivity the name of yahweh bashim yahweh shai being lifted you know uh, uh on the earth israel israel repenting the remnant okay uh returning back unto the lord so that is happening which is causing this devil to move with fervency toward his agenda of creating or, or making man in his image right so now let's uh, listen to this the fourth industrial revolution will impact our lives completely it will not only change how we communicate how we produce how we consume it will change actually as our own identity. Now, you hear that? He did. He said the fourth industrial revolution will not only change how we interact, how we communicate, you know, basically how we live. It will actually change us, our identity. You see? Identity. So if your identity is being changed, that means your image is being changed. Now, when you go all the way back to the beginning... Right to Genesis, the Lord, the scripture says, What and the powers said, Let us make man in our image. All right, we know that that's a that's a famous one, but you also have a uh, scripture here in the book of Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 23. It says, For the most high created man to be immortal, and that's speaking about the Israelite man, the sons of God, the Yasharala, and made him to be an image of of his own eternity so the israelites were created to be an image of the most high's own eternity but what is this devil all right in this beast system trying to accomplish they're trying to now create uh, a man in their own image right let's listen to what he just said listen real carefully because these devils, they 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 will they will tell you their plans. All right, they will they will come out and explicitly let you know what they're trying to do. But a lot of people are blinded by the deception, by the enchantments, by the sorcery. You know, there's, there's this movie, uh, Now You See Me, which you know uh, there's a, there's a part there's a Now You See Me and there's a Now You See Me Too, and and and, and in that movie it has to do with you know magicians and and magic. You know all that stuff which Esau goes into heavy you know e even though they try to show you like in in you know circuses and like stuff like that like it's all just funny games no that's left-handed magic and, and those sorcerers and those mag this magis that's real uh, uh, left-handed energy and power that they use 
Now, if the Lord says, you know, that in right, and that's why the scripture says, suffer not a witch to live, you know, don't, uh, don't basically, um, don't, don't interact for lack of a better word with those that have familiar spirits. And Esau uses all of that energy to push forth his deception onto the world. Okay. So in the, in that movie, now you see me, it said, they basically tell you that the, uh, the way to get off a successful, uh, trick all right or, or you know magic is to tell you or to show you what they're doing right in front of your eyes all right and even though they show you right in front of your eyes you won't believe it even though they actually came out and and showed you what they're doing all right and that's what esau does oh uh, you know on top of the fact that the lord said that he was going to make his own tongue to fall upon himself but this devil to the, to the ones of us that are listening, to the ones of us that the Most High has given the eyes to see and the ears to hear, they will explicitly tell you what their plans are. But the ones of the people that want to believe, see, the thing is with, uh, you know, when you watch that movie, people want to believe the deception. People want to believe the lie. So they, so when somebody does a trick, they actually want to believe that that was, you know, a, a trick. They want to believe that that was magic. When all in all, it's this devil, okay, doing sorcery, deceiving you into thinking that it's it's a it's a trick, and that's why a lot of people are going to end up, uh, uh, you know, uh, worshiping the beast, worshiping his image, and receiving his mark because they they rather believe the lie than to believe the love of the truth. All right, so let's listen to the, this part again. So false industrial revolution will impact our lives completely. It will not only change how we communicate, how we produce, how we consume, it will change actually as our own identity. It of course gives life uh, to such uh, policies and uh, developments like uh, smart traffic, smart government, smart cities. Mm -hmm. What you will see is that uh, everything will be integrated a ecosystem driven by big data and uh, driven uh, particularly by close cooperation also of governments uh, with uh, business, civil society and this revolution will come at a race taking speed. It will be this revolution or yeah, this revolution will come at what breathtaking speed? All right and what you had uh, Operation Warp Speed. That's what that's what um, Donald uh, Trump said about the whole uh, uh, Vanessa. You know, Vanessa uh, um, creating the Vanessa it was called Operation Warp Speed. Revelation twelve verse twelve, and he said everything will be integrated. Going right back to Revelation thirteen verse sixteen, causeth all. He's constructing, forming, fashioning. Paeo. Okay, the word causeth everything to be integrated into this uh into his image all right like a tsunami hey, like, a su <laughs> like a tsunami he said like breathtaking speed like a tsunami what is a tsunami that's a big flood going you know you already know what that scripture is man isaiah 59 verse uh i believe what 19 when the enemy shall come in like a flood we are we are in the time period of this devil coming in like a flood him moving with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. All right, let's continue. Just a digital evolution. It's digital. Digital. It's physical. It's nanotechnology, but it's also biological. Boom. He said the fourth ev evolution is digital. All right. It's physical, and it's also biological. Okay, which goes into your makeup, your genetic makeup. And who created man? Did Esau create it? No. But he just said that this next evolution, which is coming in like a tsunami, uh, this next revolution, I should say, that's coming in like a tsunami, which will be driven by big data and private corporations. And who owns that? Who owns those big data and private corporations? Esau Edom. Okay? He owns these things. And their job is going to uh, basically be using their uh, perverted wisdom and knowledge 
to create man in their own image. That's why the scriptures tells you that whoever receives that mark, right? Let's get it. See, you, you, you think this is a game, man, but this ain't a game. This devil has an agenda and he is moving with quickness for his agenda, man. All right. And whoever is not, uh, whoever does not incorporate themselves into his agenda, he wants them to be what? Ex uh, exed out, exed out of, of, of the, uh, of their society. Revelation 13 verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. So this is the image. And the image is what? The philosophies, the ideologies of the first beast, which is who? The Roman Empire. And that the Roman Empire is, is revived today in where? In the beast system that you see happening right now. And they're at the time period where they want to perfect okay that that uh that uh, uh um agenda that image and whoever does not bow the knee whoever does not incorporate cuz remember he said everything's going to be integrated so if you don't integrate into this image all right and, and worship this image of the beast then you got to be exed out you got to be taken out of of society of life because he wants to be like the most high all right plain and simple and that's why and that's why the lord said if whoever takes that mark must be killed revelation 14 verse um nine it says and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image because if you worship the beast in his image and you receive his mark now and specifically you israelites now you are no longer you can no longer be uh, um, or can no longer be in the image of the most high because you have now chosen to be in the image of the wicked. And that technology that they have literally is going to he wants to take your soul. He wants to have complete control over your soul. And there's a scripture that is going to prove that. But let me finish this. But that's what these devils ultimately, their ultimate agenda is. Because they've used their money, their treasuries, their, their fatness of the earth, right? Their uh, uh, technology to be able to uh, really conquer everything. But what is the one thing that this devil cannot conquer here on the earth? Is what? The soul. Yet, let's say that. He cannot, he cannot have dominion over the soul. He cannot you know, have a, a dominion over your thoughts. He cannot replicate the creation of man. All right. He can't create man. He can try to, uh, um, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He can try to uh, uh, hijack what, what is already created. And that's what that, that, that karagma basically is. All right. And you, when you listen to, um, you know, people talk about, um, you know what that thing that Vanessa and the technology that's behind Vanessa it basically said that they it hijacks your DNA all right it hijacks your your cells your cell is the the fundamental part of you all right that's the that's your cell your cell, cellular structure is what makes your your nails and your bones and your hands and your eyes and all that but that uh technology that this devil has has created, OK, with this perverse wickedness, it can hijack that cell, that those cells in it, in it. As he just said, it changes your physical and your biological uh, self. I mean, and actually, it's not just a digital evolution. It's digital, of course, physical, it's nanotechnology, but it's also biological. And so three dimensions provides in particular force to this revolution. So what uh, the World Economic Forum is doing is to promote uh, promote this coming private cooperation to master the force industrial revolution. You see? Promote the public and private corporations to master the fourth industrial revolution. Which is why you now have these different governments, various governments, 
all right here particular even here in babylon you have the the president is telling private corporations to do what to um uh, uh mandate the vanessa now the vanessa isn't the uh um the the marcus however it is going to be tied hand in hand with the marcus because the markets is what's going to allow you to be able to be incorporated into the fourth industrial revolution. It's going to allow you to be able to be uh, integrated, as he said. That's why the scripture says to receive his uh, whoever doesn't receive the, the karagma can't buy and sell. Because in this new ecosystem, you have to be digitalized in. You have to be uh, uh, integrated in. But that um, that uh, uh, Vanessa has the that that you know that uh, nanotechnology that can change your molecular cellular structure. You see, AKA you being created are hijacked because what Esau because Esau can't create man, he's trying to hijack the Most High's creation. He's trying to overtake our our uh uh basically you know uh um yeah you know for lack of a better word hijack the 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 computer that the lord created which is what the the you know the brain the man all right he's trying to hijack it by using his technology all right so let's continue So fourth industrial revolution will have uh, multifold impacts. Of course, every industry will be digitalized, mm -hmm. be disintermediated, and has to define a new business model. But it's not only business which is affected, it's government which has to move over to agile government. It is society as a whole with the danger of uh, job losses, but also with the need reskill and upskill people uh, fast, uh, so it's an impact on society. So uh, we will have to prepare very well for this revolution, and I feel that the Asian countries with a relatively young population uh, can manage and master this revolution easier compared to other countries in the world. And it's funny, he said that the Asian countries can, uh, you know, prepare for it in way to... <laughs> Hey man, call Loy How about Shima Shai. Where did they say that this whole uh, thing started at? You see? Come on, man. Um, what is particularly important is the educational system. Uh, we have to change the educational system, which is still very much anchored. Even in the 19th century, uh, we have to adapt it to the need to change continuously example jobs so the new educational system has not only been aiming at uh, developing digital capabilities and I should add ethical norms but it also has to be based on a lifelong educational system so there you have it man so now check this out right here this is the book of wisdom of Solomon chapter 15 verse um 15 uh, wisdom psalm 15 verse 15 it says for they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods which neither have the use of eyes to uh, see nor noses to draw breath nor ears to hear nor fingers to handle nor fingers of hands to handle and as of their feet they are slow to go for man made them and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. But no man can make a God like unto himself. Okay? No man can make a God like to unto himself. See, the only a power can make a power like unto himself. That's why the scriptures tell you that God created man his, in his own image to be an uh, uh, in, uh, uh, image of his own eternity. That's why Yahweh said, what? I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But Esau, because he can't do that, he is trying to hijack the, 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 uh, the creation 
that the Most High has created in his image. And he's trying to hijack it to now make it into Esau's image. And using, and that's why, that's why the scripture says that you got to worship the beast in his image and receive his mark. Because once you receive that mark, you are now in the image of Esau, Edom. All right. And understanding you being integrated into that ecosystem of smart cities and smart everything. They, you know, you have uh, Elon Musk telling you that they, they can put a, a brain chip in you and they can download information straight from, you know, the Internet. You know, you can learn a language based straight from it being downloaded into your head. So that means that they can also or they will be also have the ability to do what? To control your thought pattern. You see? So Esau is legit trying to create or hijack the image of the Most High. And specifically, you Israelites. What did uh, Joe Biden say? <laughs> you know? You, what, what was the slip of the tongue? It says, for being mortal, verse 17, for being mortal, he worketh a dead thing with wicked hands. For he himself is better than the thing which he worships, whereas he lived once, but they never. All right. Because in the back in the day, you had you had um, you know, idols, right? You had heathens that they made idols from clay and potter and, and gold and silver. But now Esau is creating, you know, his own idol. All right. He's creating the, the image is the idol. And everybody has to worship this image and receive that mark. And that's why the scripture tells you here in the book of. Um, uh, Revelation 19. So like, yeah. So like it might be 20. Okay, yeah, this is one here. Revelation 20, verse 4 says, And I saw the thrones that were that um that so like and I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. Okay, and that's talking about the first thousand years of the kingdom, all right, where we're going to, you know, the ones who have not received the image. All right, there's another scripture, I believe it's in Revelation 19, where it says that they have gotten the vic they have uh, gotten victory over the beast. Okay, but the ones that have not received this, the image, all right, or received his mark, they're going to have dominion with Yahweh Shai, all right, starting with the 144,000, okay, in the kingdom of heaven, rebuilding the uh uh the i mean building the the kingdom of heaven and having these other nations underneath us uh let me get this let's type it in like that um victory beast okay here we go uh revelation 15 verse revelation 15 verse 2 and it says, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having having the harps of the most high. OK, because the ones who do not bow the knee, who the ones who do not uh, uh, take that image, I mean, so I can take that mark is of the of the nation of Israel. Okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, we are going to receive victory and receive a reward for not base for not uh, uh, being incorporated into this uh, fourth industrial revolution that this devil is causing everybody to get into. It's causing the world to be transformed into his image, and no matter what, whether we're presented with death, you're going to have individuals, the remnant that. They're not going to succumb to the, the image of Esau because we are in the image of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And when you go to that word, um, when you go to the word Karagma, 
basically the mark, it tells you, it tells you basically a thing. It says a thing carved, sculptured, graven work of adult of idolatrous image. All right. A badge of servitude. You see? So the ones who did not take this badge of servitude, because we're supposed to be servants of your, of the Lord. But you take that mark, you have uh, you have became a servant of and it's, it's and it's stamped in you. It's carved in you. OK, it's not something that you can just fake and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm really not a servant. No, you're going to be as as uh, Klaus Schwab said biologically you're going to be a servant unto esau physically you're going to be a servant unto esau and there is nothing that you can do to come out of that that's why the judgment going back to now revelation 14 verse uh nine it says in the third angel uh, follow them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Because you have now carved, you, it's, impl it's implanted, <laughs> literally it's carved, it's sketched into you that you are a servant to Esau. You are in the image of Esau. And if you are in the image of Esau, particularly you being an Israelite that is supposed to be in the image of the Most High, you are now... Uh, an abominable thing to the Lord. And only thing left for, for you is for you, your vessel to be destroyed. All right. And that's it, man. So, you know, I'll end that there, Lord willing. You know, this was edifying unto the elect. You know, hey, man, call Lord Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. It was edifying to me, you know, when I read these scriptures and I seen that video. So I just wanted to, you know, put it on, put it on uh, as an epistle to the hopeful elect, man. So with that, Shalom.